Well, we had a frank meeting with the uh, PSNI, led by the Chief Superintendent Chris Noble, uh, to review and look at the next steps following the intimidation of four Catholics living in a mixed area of my constituency in South Belfast. Uh, the police have told us that a strong line of inquiry is that paramilitaries are behind these threats. It remains my view that the paramilitary organisation with its stamp on that area is East Belfast UVF and that they need to be stood up to and challenged in this matter. We have also got assurance from the PSNI they would step up security in the area so that those people who want to live in harmony together can do that safe uh, in the knowledge that the police are ensuring that everyone is, is uh, as secure as they can be at this uh, difficult time. Well, the meeting went on for uh, well over an hour and uh, we uh, pushed them on more information being given out uh, so that people know what type of threat this is. Uh, there's very little information given out, I think, on the programmes up till now. And of course, that affects the victims themselves. They need to know how serious they can take this. And of course, they need to take it serious because there is paramilitary involvement uh, in this threat. All the people want to do, this was a very good project. I have shared uh, housing. There's a number of projects uh, throughout the north. We want them to work. Uh, but the paramilitary organisations need to get off the backs of people because these, these housing associations, these places where people want to live together, will work and can work if the paramilitaries would leave them alone. Sinn Féin, Goananus, Carta, August, Eintas, Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.